channel if you're new around here my name is Nicole and it's January it's January the 3rd in fact uh, of 2023 and let's do a garden tour because why not so today it currently it is 49 degrees the wind is blowing I'm pretty sure from the north or like the northeast it's chilly out here my sweatshirt and my long sleeve shirt might not be enough um, True story. It's supposed to be a high of like 55 today, I think. So not too cold, not too hot. Definitely not shorts weather. Yesterday was shorts weather, but we had a cold front move through. And here we are. So let's do this real quick garden tour in January, because you know, it's January, so why not? While this is not garden, it is kind of causing me problems. My drain line for my washer got cut in two and has been backing up and we finally found the culprit right down there. We didn't get that fixed this year. It's outdoorsy. It's kind of like a garden, right? Here is the side of my house. Just all that's planted here right now is obviously weeds and mums i know i know i need to get out here and weed it's just been we went we went from sub-zero temperatures two weeks ago to shorts yesterday and when we say that if you don't like the weather stick around 30 minutes we're not joking because yesterday it went from hot to cold okay <laughs> This is the rose bush. Another mum. I hope the mums come back because they're so pretty. Uh, my window boxes are cleaned out. Arctic fire dogwood is, all the leaves are pretty much gone. That right there is some kind of a cone flower and lavender. I did plant a mum in there. I need to clean out this particular uh, pot here as well as those just need to clean everything out i haven't done that yet it's been cold gosh i'm even pulling my hood up i guess the wind is from the west Brr. this is the mum that got planted in 2020 still doing well that's a little mum i'm not sure if the little mum will make it or not they may not be hardy i don't know if you hear the whistling it's my ring doorbell my husband is whistling at me because he can see me in the front yard and he's Oh, let's go ahead. I don't know how that fell over. Fix it. That is the butterfly bush. Another mom rose bush. So my tree here, this was supposed to be a cherry tree, and I don't think it's gonna make it. My other tree was an apple, and it didn't make it. So that's sad. This was the bed that my oldest and I planted to a bunch of mums as well as a bunch of bulbs and i'm really excited to see she is too if these bulbs will actually come up this spring over here is the other bed that we did it's exact same but it's just in a little bit different shape uh it pretty much has the same number of everything i think it had one more of something and when you park your truck there to use this christmas decoration even though it doesn't have a for sale sign, everybody and their brother stops by asking you if it's for sale. So I guess we need to move that from my front yard because no, no it isn't for sale. <laughs> so this is just across the front of my yard and there's all the stupid gourds. Anyway, a couple years ago I actually planted a bunch of sunflowers along this ridge line because I thought it'd be fun for people to drive by and see the sunflowers, but they never they never did anything. Here is the wheelbarrow area. And I planted some party mums in here as well as there are some perennials, but I'm not really sure what they are. I don't remember. And I don't know where I planted them. I'm pretty sure that I actually planted the perennials in the ground. And in the wheelbarrow itself is more 
annuals that can just be pulled. Oh my gosh, it's cold out here, guys. That was peppers. That was peppers. That was a whole bunch of mishmash of everything. And then more peppers. That was onions. The cold snap that we had during Christmas where we were like six degrees above zero on the daytime high and about six degrees below zero with wind chills in the negative 20s. I think that killed them as well as the pineapple. <laughs> I think they're good and gone. That bed there is where the asparagus is and it'll it's a perennial. It takes three to five years to establish itself. This was peppers and peppers and peppers, all jalapenos I believe. Look, my garlic, it's confused and it's starting to come up. Not, not cool, maybe I should get out here and mulch this bed. But garlic will do that, so I'm not real worried about it. Um, the ones I'm worried about are the ones right here on the surface that are trying to push through the ground. This was where the tomatoes hung out. I've done a little bit of research and it actually says that you shouldn't tear away all of that debris, which I didn't. I left some of the tomato debris, but I did pull out all of the plants themselves. But a little debris isn't bad. That was actually a Lysianthus bed and that was that was a del delicata squash. The delicata squash was killed by squash bugs you know, early in the season last year. And the Lysianthus, I finally pulled all of them out of this particular bed. Those are the strawberries. Again, still needs weeding, but whatever. This bed here needs weeded. Yeah, weeding is not my strong suit. Kind of like putting away uh, clothes when I pull them out of the dryer. But that is my goal this year. Because every time I pull a load out of the dryer, just immediately put it away, or at least that day. That's the goal. And so far, here we are, day three, and I am doing well. And yes, yes, I have pulled a couple of loads out of the dryer. It's not that I haven't. <laughs> okay, this bed needs to really be weeded. I need to clean the lysianthus out of there and the peppers out of here. This bed just needs to be weeded. I really do need to get in and get all of the acorns out before it starts getting warm so that they don't try to grow trees in my flower bed or my vegetable bed because that's kind of silly. <laughs> Those were, on, uh, yeah, onions as well as that. Those got emptied, that one didn't. Those were marigolds. I don't even remember what was in that. I did not pull my drip line yet again. I'm kind of bad about that. Oh, hey, there's the top. Like, here's one of my deals. And there's the top. That doesn't make any sense. There. We've had some strong winds. There's my potato fork, actually. And that bed there, I believe it's that bed there, still has potatoes in it. I kind of left them as a as an end experiment. Oh, that light needs to be picked up. That light needs to be picked up. This was huckleberries. They're supposed to be a perennial, so it'll be interesting to see if they come back. Nothing really survived there, even when I had it planted. Woo, I almost fell over a bed. This has been empty for a while. I need to get the acorns out. I need to pull the debris out of that, the debris out of that, and the debris out of here. Question, do we even need to talk about this poor bed right here? Like, seriously, if you don't understand or don't know what I'm talking about, go watch some of my other garden tour videos. I will tell you, 43 tomato plants. We'll leave it at that. Actually, it'll be interesting. This, this sunflower right here, whoop, that sunflower right there actually self-seeded itself from 2021 to last year. So I bet I'll have some sunflowers yet again this year. That'd be cool. And we are going to finish out this garden bed and get it replantable. 
Hey, somebody locked the door. I don't know if that was me or not. Whew. Let us come into the garden shed. I don't think that was me. And I have no idea what's plugged in. Might be a tractor. Still have garlic in here. It's actually not really bad in here. Of course, we're out of the wind. Those are my pepper plants. Should focus on them. I don't know if those will make it or not. Like I said, it's not too bad in here. I did not come out here and check when we had our cold snaps during winter. Winter. Christmas is what I really mean. It'd be interesting to know if any of these will survive. These are all pepper plants, which you can overwinter. And I actually, oops, planned on putting together a video of what my daughter and I did. And nothing says I still can't. I just, time, time has not been on my side lately. But I'll go ahead and I will water them and see if we can't hold them through. They prefer to be in about 50 degree weather. And unfortunately, my thermometer over here, the battery died and I haven't replaced it. So, and there is an app for that. This is what it is. And if I go ahead and change the batteries in it, I'll be able to see what the temperature is out here and monitor it. I have a lot of stuff that just needs to find a home, be put away. I have some garden seeds here. Those are steaks for uh, tomatoes. I love them, love them. Some sunflower seeds. Green beans, sunflower, sunflower, <laughs> sunflower, let me guess, sunflower, corn, oh that's kind of cool, forgot I had it, bloody butcher corn, double red sweet corn, see I had plans of planting corn last year, and it didn't happen because we didn't get that bed that done. There's some carrots. Thought maybe there were other seeds in here that I forgot about. I don't see any. Oops. That sucks. My peppermint oil fell over. Leaked all over the table. That's fun. That's fun. So did my neem oil. Exciting times. Yeah, I didn't take very good care of this obviously. Oh, we got some sweet basil and some Genovese basil. I really thought I had some zinnia seeds in here, but maybe I took them back in the house. Or maybe they're in here and I'm just not seeing them. So, I should come out here one of these days. Oh, get this reorganized because planting season is quickly coming upon us. I'm excited. Uh, I was looking at seeds the other day. My family kind of gives me fits. <clears throat> so I quit looking at the seeds, but I was looking at buying seeds the other day. I ordered, no, did not order. I put 200 and some odd dollars worth in my cart, but I didn't buy any of them. And then I looked at some in store. Again, didn't buy any because my family was giving me fits and ooh, my hair. Y'all are just gonna have to get used to the hair because I kind of made my peace with it. I'm stalking the mailman right now because my new camera is in the mail and it's supposed to be delivered today and I'm so ready for it. Like I like this camera, but I like the other one better. So anyway, that <laughs> is a totally random fact for my garden tour for January 2023. Happy New Year! See you later, bye!